This is a failed timing chain tensioner that I recently removed from a 240D Mercedes diesel engine. How did I know the timing chain tensioner had failed? Well, it started out by finding a mysterious leak in the oil pan, which was caused by excessive timing chain slap. And you can see there's a way you can test this right after you shut an engine down. You can open up the valve cover and see if the chain is loose. When you push against the tensioner, as you can see here, this had absolutely no resistance at all. So between those two issues, I knew this tensioner was shot. So I ordered in a new one. But for those of you who are not familiar with how these work, I want to demonstrate this to you. So you can see the difference between this one here, this used one that I removed from the engine and this brand new one that I just received. Now these tensioners are held tight by oil pressure. Oil pressure enters through this hole here. And they're different from the later model tensioners on the turbo diesel engines, which had a ratcheting lock inside here. So when the tensioner would push out, it could only move back so far. Not so with these. There's no ratcheting lock in there. So if you lose oil pressure, or the internals fail inside the housing here, you're going to have a tensioner that's not holding the chain tight to the sprocket. And that can lead to all kinds of problems. Not only uh, holes in oil pans like you previously saw, but this could lead to total timing chain failure, excessive sprocket wear, et cetera. So what I've done here is I've taken some engine oil and I filled up both of these cavities as best I could Now watch closely. I'll start by demonstrating this used one here. I'm gonna push down on it. Watch what happens. See that? The oil's coming right back out the hole. Excessively so. See, there's no pressure. I can push this all the way down. See that? And look at the oil squirt out. So what's happened is there's a built-in check valve, so to speak, that keeps the oil moving one way but not allowing it to move back. Well, in this case, this has failed internally. So there's no way that this can hold consistent oil pressure. Maybe if the engine's running at very high speed, you may have a situation where it can hold enough pressure to keep the chain from slapping. Now watch the new one here. As I fill that cavity up, okay, watch. I'm gonna push, see? I can only push it down about half an inch and it's locked up. Now obviously as more oil gets in there when the engine's running it, it's going to build up the pressure in there so this probably won't even be able to come back. But right now with just a little bit of oil in it from this oil can, I cannot push this down more than about a half an inch. And look, there's no oil coming out the inlet or the escape hole there. But take a look at the bad one here. <laughs> look what's happening there. You've got oil squirting out all over the place. I want to warn you about these old style tensioners. They can cause problems. They don't last forever. You should expect a lifespan out of these tensioners, you know, around 200 to 220,000 miles from my experience. Don't just let your engine run up to four or 500,000. Don't believe these old stories that these Mercedes diesels will go forever without some maintenance. And the tensioner is something that you have to pay attention to. Now I do sell new tensioners and new timing chain replacement kits on my website if you suspect this might be a problem with your diesel engine.